Today I'm going to do a review on The Crimson for Destiny 2 and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you don't miss out on anything. Now the Crimson Exotic Hand Cannon is highly unique. Actually, it's the only one of its kind in Destiny history. After we talk about its perks, you'll see why. It's molded after and it's pretty much the baby brother of the Red Death from Destiny 1. If you guys are new to Destiny, the Red Death's main perk was called Red Death and each kill with the weapon heals you and speeds up reloads. The Red Death also had high caliber rounds on it, which makes enemies stagger. However, the Red Death as in the weapon was a pulse rifle and little baby brother Crimson is a hand cannon. Let's look at the stats. The Crimson has an RPM of 386, an impact of 92, a range of 60, stability of 82, a reload speed of 64, and a handling of 50. Hidden stats on this exotic give it a zoom of 14, a max inventory size of 100, an aim assist of 75, and a low recoil direction of 55. It's funny because this weapon even resembles the Red Death with the blood splatter, the spikes coming out of the side, and a bayonet underneath it. As for the intrinsic perk, we have Banned Weapon, which this weapon fires a 3 round burst. Then we have Small Bore, Accurized Rounds, Cruel Remedy, which kills with this weapon heal the wielder, Precision kills also refill the magazine, and then we have Heavy Grip, and this also comes with a plus 5 weapon attack mod. Now, as I said before, this weapon is unique. As of this video, it's the only hand cannon in its archetype with an RPM of 386. It's the only hand cannon that has a 3 round burst. When firing the Crimson, it's almost like you have a sidearm and a pulse rifle fused into a hand cannon form. Even though it's not written in the perks, this hand cannon still has high caliber rounds like the Red Death did and you can tell because when you shoot yellow barred enemies, they stagger after 2-3 to three rounds on crit shots to the head. At first, me being a PvP player, I gave it a shot and I really didn't like the Crimson. I came quickly to terms and hated it and I stored it in my vault. But I felt after a while that I didn't really give the Crimson a chance. So, in PvP, this weapon does okay. Unfortunately, due to the current meta, the Crimson Fire is way too slow. Even if it does have an RPM of 386. Other weapons like the Atalanta D, the Positive Outlook, and other weapons of the same archetype outgun the Crimson every single time. Even if the Crimson is a 3 round burst and it has an impact of 92, I still feel that it doesn't hit hard enough in order to be competitive in PvP. Now, I'm not saying you won't get any kills, but you will end up dying a lot more if you use this hand cannon over other weapons in the meta. In my opinion, the Crimson feels like it really hits like a slow firing pulse rifle, which isn't at all good in today's PvP scene. PvE, on the other hand, is a different story. The Red Death was good in PvE and PvP, but the Crimson I would say is more suited for PvE content than it is for PvP. The Crimson is highly stable and does very well against adds and most adds will die in one burst if it's a headshot or two shots to the body. Majors without shields can continue to be staggered if you are hitting headshots and you can melt them within three to seven bursts of headshots. However, the effect of Cruel Remedy doesn't heal you fast enough if you are being focus fired on by adds and you will most likely die. I've had it happen to me several times when I was roaming by myself and I wouldn't recommend that if you are going to use this weapon. In short, I would use the Crimson if I am on strikes, patrols, doing public events, or pretty much anything in a group. I'm not a fan of the Crimson in PvP due to the time to kill or TTK which is why I don't use it. I don't know. Maybe you guys will have better luck with this weapon in PvP than I have. And if you do, let me know. So, what are your ponders on the Crimson? Which activities do you enjoy using it in D2? Or, is it collecting dust in your vault like it is in mine? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you might just like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.